Good morning, Bears Den. It is currently 7.14 in the morning. I woke up at 5.45, early start to the day, but I'm getting ready to catch a flight to head to Los Angeles for the Super Bowl. So I am an entertainment management major. I talked about that in my last video that I did. And with entertainment management, we have an association and every year a group of students get to go work the Super Bowl and I got picked to go. So I'm super excited, super nervous because I hate flying, but I know I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> so I just have a quick like disclaimer about this week. Um, this is a volunteer based experience. So that means that I might not be able to show you everything I get to do just because I have to be doing my volunteer stuff first. Like that's the priority. So I'm gonna try and get everything as I can as possible. And next time you'll see me, I'll be at the airport. Bye. <laughs>officially day one in LA and today we are at SoFi Stadium for training and then we are going to the Super Bowl experience that we'll be working tonight so I will take more videos as I go all right so we are currently walking in downtown and we are heading to our Super Bowl experience shift inside the LA Convention Center see you soon <laughs> So today we are going to do some exploring around Hollywood and then we are going to work again tonight. So behind me, somewhat back there, you can see Capitol Records from the parking lot we're in. So I'm going to take some shots around Hollywood as we go. Hollywood for the day and now we're going back to the LA Convention Center to do our shift for the NFL experience and this time I'm going to try and get videos inside. <laughs> Then. So today we are going to be taking a tour of the LA Forum because we have AEM alumni that works here. So I'm going to take some cool videos while I'm inside. So what's also cool about the Forum right here is that SoFi is right there. Super cool. <laughs> truly was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is absolutely insane. If you can ever go to a concert here, try and go. It is ridiculously cool. Hey guys, so we finished our tour and now we are at the Santa Monica Pier and we're gonna go to Bubba Gump for lunch. So I'll show you guys inside. <laughs> so it is officially game day and odds are I'm not gonna be able to record anything inside the stadium due to security but if I can sometime at the end I will have those clips for you guys so today's gonna be really busy I'm at the stadium from 1 to 9 and kickoff here is at 3 30 while in central time back in Springfield it's 5 30 so it's gonna be a long and busy day and hopefully I'll have some fun videos for you guys later bye <laughs> Hi everyone, so the game is officially over and the Rams won. I really wish I could have shown you guys where I was. It was by far the coolest thing I have ever seen. Seriously, so cool. I loved it. Um, I'll fill you guys in more about it later. Right now I'm heading to check out because I have to check out from working and give them my credentials. So I'll see ya. 
Hi Bears Den, so we're currently at LAX and we are about to catch a flight. We actually gotta wait a little bit because our flight is at one and then we will be on our way to Denver and then from Denver we will be back in Springfield. So this is a sweatshirt that I got from Super Bowl. I think it's fun, it's retro. Definitely kind of dropped a bag on it, but at this point I do not care. I just thought it was cute, but I will see you guys when we get to Denver. This will be the last video for me. I was planning on filming this last night when I got in town, but I was so exhausted that I just went to bed. So it didn't happen. But I kind of just want to walk through each of my days so you can get a better idea of why I was able to film certain stuff and why I wasn't. So Wednesday we got in and as soon as we got to the airport, that's when we got off all, all of our stuff. Um, we had to go get rental cars. And straight from the airport, we went to the LA Convention Center to where the NFL experience was. And we had to pick up our credentials, get our t-shirts, all that stuff. And then we went to the Airbnb, went to Walmart, unpacked, and then we went to bed because we were really exhausted from traveling. And then Thursday morning, we had to go to SoFi Stadium. And that's when we had our in-person training. And we learned what level of the stadium we were gonna be on, as well as what we were doing. And then after that, we went back to the LA Convention Center and that is when we did our first work shift of working the NFL experience. And during that shift, I was in zone nine and that was the front of the building where all the guests were coming in. And so I was helping greet them, um, helping them get to the box office if they hadn't gotten tickets yet, or I was helping them with the NFL One Pass, which was an app that they utilized to help enhance their experience while they were upstairs. And I also had a map and list of when players were gonna be there for their appearances. And then on Friday, that was when we went to Hollywood Boulevard during the day and we kind of explored. And then that night we had to go back to the LA Convention Center to work another shift for the NFL experience. And that time I was just upstairs and I was helping work. Um, I wanna say it was like the extra point kick station. So they had to kick it between a field goal and I was just helping with scanning tickets as well as answering questions that people may had when they were walking around. And then Saturday, that is when we did the tour at the LA Forum. And I am so thankful that we were able to do that tour because it was literally the coolest thing I'd ever seen on the planet. Um, as I said in my video, if you have the chance to go to a concert there, do it. It has so much history in that building and it is so cool. As you all know, Sunday was Super Bowl and it was game day. So what we had to do on Sunday is we worked from 1 to 9 p.m. And how that worked for us is that we went to a college in the area and we took a shuttle from that college to SoFi Stadium. And the reason why they did that is because they blocked off a perimeter around the stadium to make it secure. And I wanna say it was like a five mile perimeter. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was. And so once we got there, we had to go in, pick up new credentials for game day. And then we had to go through two security checkpoints. One of them was just like a metal detector. And then the other one was specific to our credentials where we had to like scan in, facial recognition, making sure that the credential matched ourselves. And then once we got through that, we got escorted to SoFi Stadium. Once we got to SoFi Stadium, I was able to take videos on the outside, but once I got to where I was working, that's when I was not allowed to have my phone out. So where I was working, I was working on the service level, which is field level, and it was the very first floor in the stadium. So what I was doing down there is that I was working in one of the tunnels, and it was a very busy tunnel. Um, that is where all the halftime stuff went out, the stuff before the game. So like the national anthem, like that huge flag that went through my tunnel. Um, we had a lot of VIPs in the area. It was very high security, very important and very busy. So that's the reason why I couldn't have my phone out because of the amount of VIPs, security, as well as it just being a safety issue due to the massive props we had going through because of the fact that it was of such high importance, but also it was huge props. Like you had to be paying attention at all times. And in my area, I had to help assist with like crowd management because we went on like lockdowns in that area to make sure that um, when all those big stuff moving parts were coming through, that no one was coming through that area. So it was secure so that way no one could get hurt or get in the way 
because everything had to be done in a very timely manner. So I got to see all the halftime stuff go through. I got to see the end game stuff go through of like those sets that, you know, like the championship go on. And after that, I got to see the end of the game as much as I could. I was working the whole time, so I really didn't get to see much of the game. But personally, I was fine with that because I was able to learn so much while I was down there. I was able to talk to my tunnel leads who were such amazing industry professionals that I was able to learn a lot from them, how they got their start, how they ended up working at the Super Bowl, all sorts of stuff like that. It was such an amazing learning experience. And I am so incredibly grateful for the Entertainment Management Association at Missouri State University for this once in a lifetime opportunity. I am so glad that I was able to vlog this week for you guys and I hope you were able to enjoy this journey that I went through and I hope you guys were able to learn something or at least see something cool. So I'm signing off, bye. <laughs>